Well, this time we are going to talk about salaries. Uh, in some countries it's uh, very acceptable to talk each other's salaries, in some other places not so much, but we are going to do that anyway. Uh, so we ha I set up a little piece of code that I'm checking whether I have, uh, if my money is big enough, if I have more than a million something, I don't really know what kind of currency is that, or if my salary is above uh, 10,000 of the same thing. And uh, I assume that if either of these is true, then I can live well. And this uh, works really nice, but um, sometimes I like to get uh, a raise in my salary. And um, I, I'm not greedy, so I'm okay. it's okay with me for to get one. And here I add one uh, every time I check the, the salary. So when, when I have a, a, a salary review, uh, I, I ask for a raise of one, and that, that's okay, that's nice. Uh, though I check it every 10 seconds, so being not greedy is still okay. Uh, and the story is that I, I'm not wealthy, so I don't have a lot of money, and my salary is not really good, but anyway, I keep uh, getting higher and higher salary. And one day, I win some money, and uh, I suddenly have a lot of money, and I live quite well for 10 years, and then I lose all my money. And then I noticed that my salary hasn't changed. And it hasn't changed because this piece of course has, 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 has never been executed in that 10 years. And it's the, it's, it happens because Perl, as in other languages, as in many other languages, uses short circuit. Meaning in this expression, this or this, when the first part is executed, if it's false, we don't yet know what the result is going to be, because false and false is false, uh, false or false is false, and false or true is true. So if this is false, as it was in the beginning, then we have to check this one. But if this is true, then no matter what this expression would be, the result is true. So Perl doesn't execute this expression, and particularly doesn't ex execute the increase, the auto increment. So, while it's very nice to do auto-increment within uh, some expression, it can be very costly, and it can take a lot of time to debug if you have some subtle bug. I recall when, when I learned uh, this plus plus and how much I loved uh, the fact that I can do at the same time a couple of things, but uh, no one told me that I actually have to debug my own code as well. So, probably it's better avoiding it. Anyway, the main thing here is uh, the short secret. So if you have a Boolean expression, then there is some certain order how parts are checked. And if we already know, or if, uh, we, if Perl already knows what is going to be the end result, then the rest of the expression is not even checked anymore.